Hi everyone and welcome back to another how-to video. Tonight we've got paella. Uh, so we've got prawns, crayfish and chorizo. So let's get started. So first you want to do is get a pan and start heating. Um, heat with a little bit of oil. And then we can cut white onion. Now, I was told by the uh, wife's sister that um, she would enjoy this dish um, if she could make one small change, and that is uh, swap the fish for some chicken. Uh, so Simone, maybe next time that we have this dish, um, we'll put chicken in it instead. So here we go. Right, so that's the onion, mixed up nicely. Now, don't have to worry about it being too finely diced um, because it will cook down anyway. And then that's fine. Obviously, you don't want it too big. Um, probably about the size of a large bit of rice or something, you know, small cube. I'm just going to throw in some mushrooms purely just because I've got them to spare. So, again, cut them into. Small dice and throw them in the pan. Now, this is quite a uh, simple dish. Um, it's one of those dishes that can take a little while purely because you've got to wait for the rice to cook um, and it does take a little while to soak up uh, the juices. So, first things first, we'll just get the onion and the mushroom fried off. Right, that's right off for a couple of minutes. So now we can add the prawn, which is whole pack prawn. Well, these are the small uh, peeled prawns. Um, you can use the king prawns if you want. Um, just depends on how you like fish. And then whole pack of crayfish. Now, I find with the crayfish, if you're not a big fan of fish, do try crayfish because they are a meatier fish. Um, not such a fishy taste. Um, and once you've fried it all in with all this, you can't really taste it anyway. So now I've had tritzo. So I've got a tritzo ring here. Uh, probably need about half of it. And then again, cut it into generous chunk sizes. Um, and then that will cook nicely all the way through the risotto. Now, once this is cooked all the way in, um, then what you want to do is you want to add the rice. Um, but you want to keep stirring the rice because um, it will stick to the pan. Um, you can add whatever you like. Um, I've actually got a um, spice mix, which I'll show you in a sec. Just going to cut up this chorizo. Um, but yeah, you can add whatever spices you want into this. Um, like I said, I've just got a um, paella spice sachet, um, just because it has all the flavours that you want. So there's no point trying to buy all the different flavours and you can get a pack like that. Right. The stuff that goes in. Stir that around for a bit. And what I'm gonna do is just to give it a nice rich flavour, I'm gonna add just a little bit of butter just before the rice goes in. Now that, just a blob, half a teaspoon. Okay. That will soak up, which is lovely. Now it's time to add the rice. Now this is a 500 gram pack, so we we'll use about half of that, so it's about 250 grams. Roughly. Let's face it. Don't get everything to the tea. 
and then stir that around and then what you'll notice is instantly the rice has started to soak up some of the juices um, and it will start sticking especially on quite a high heat um, but you want to keep it on that high heat because you do want it to cook thoroughly so we'll stir that around for a bit then we can add the uh, sachet and any other spices you want so I'm just going to throw in a little pepper and you know what, I'm going to throw in a bit of Nando salt and I'm going to throw in some chilli flakes as well just give it a nice kick very nice Now, stir that around. So I want this to uh, stick to the pan. Uh, right. So the next bit is going to be a long waiting bit now, uh, because what you want to do is we need to get some water into there um, for the rice to soak up and cook. Now, I've just thrown one chicken stock cube in there. You can use any stock cube you like. I find, again, chicken quite salty and it does work well with the ingredients I've got. Uh, just mix that in with some boiling water. Um, that can go in. Now, that's not the only water that will go in, but I find if you put the chicken stock in right at the start, then just top it up with water slowly, it should hold its flavour. So that will bubble away nicely. Now you're going to want to keep an eye on this um, because again it will soak up the water quite quickly and it will stick and burn to the bottom of the pan. Um, so this part now will take anywhere from sort of 20 to about 40 minutes, um, give or take, depending on how high you've got the heat. Um, again, if you want to cook it slower so that you can do something else that's fine if you want to just do it quick and easy keep the heat up and just keep stirring it and just keep an eye on it and then obviously it will take a lot quicker um, but once the water has soaked up you just want to top it up now don't drown the rice um, because obviously if you soak too much water into it it will go almost like rice pudding um, so you want to keep it more of a non soggy dish so, right, the best thing that, so that's all soaked up, so just literally straight out of the kettle and just top it up so that the water just covers the mix um, and then literally just repeat. Now like I said this next bit's going to take a little while, um, so I will come back to you um, when we're at the end right so it's been about 20 minutes um so yeah that is pretty much ready to go now um so just turn the heat off and we are now ready to serve um and that is your nice easy paella um like i said nice simple dish just quite a long waiting period uh, to cook the rice uh, but once it's cooked um it's beautiful and ready to go so that's it. Um, once again, thank you all so much for watching um, and I'll see you in the next one. Laters.